Ladies and gentlemen, the devil is in the details because in this Red Gaming Setacom video we can formally announce the Devil's Canyon CPUs from Intel. So, what can we expect from them? Well, the Intel corporate vi uh, president, Rene James, has unveiled them during Computex. And first of all, the good news, they are going to be fully pin compatible with the 1150 LGA package. So, they've also got what is known as next generation polymer thermal interface materials. That's a bit of a mouthful. So, this is going to work with existing cooling solutions. So, basically, the idea here is that the CPUs are going to be running cooler because, well, they work better. And Intel have also put in additional capacitors to help to smooth over the power delivery across the die. Okay, so what do we get? Well, for a start, you've got a fully unlocked Intel Core i7 4790K. So it's got a it's got four cores, as you'd most likely expect, and has a base clock of four gigahertz. Now, of course, it does support hyperthreading, and features eight megabytes of cache, dual channel uh, DDR3 1600 memory. And for the two of you who are going to be buying this for non-gaming uses, it's also got an integrated Intel uh, for graphics 4600. Now that's clocked to 1250 megahertz. And once again, to reiterate, is for the LGA1150 socket. Now there's also an Intel Pentium processor anniversary edition. So this is also unlocked. So the chip is actually two cores. And they're running at 3.2 gigahertz each. Obviously, this is base frequency. It's also it's also LGA 1150. Once again, two-channel DDR3. This time, 1333 megahertz. And once again, of course, features the graphics built in. Uh, Intel Quick Sync video. Two megabytes of cache, however, a lot smaller. And it's compatible with Intel's 8 or 9 series chipsets. So the third final is the i5. So the i5 is going to be known as the 4690K. Obviously the K would once again demonstrate that this is a fully unlocked processor, obviously by the multi. So this means that you're going to get very much a similar-ish processor. You're going to be getting four cores running at 3.5 gigahertz. So that's four threads, obviously no hyper-threading here because it's an i5. Um, once again, it's going to be LGA 1150, and it's going to support two channels of DDR3 1600 megahertz, and of course, it's going to feature a Intel HD graphics processor. It's going to be clocked; it's the 4600 uh, variety, but it's only going to be clocked at 1200 megahertz. So it's clocked slightly slower, 50 megahertz slower than the i7 in this case and features six megabytes of cache so in this case the processes are very similar to one another that uh, would be the i7 and the i5 of course it does feature small amounts of cache fewer uh, threads and lower clock frequency but that's kind of to be expected but for a lot of gamers i suspect you're probably going to want to go for the i5 so obviously we're going to have to see and wait for benchmarks because there are none released yet what else well intel and uh, through james have also demonstrated the first the world's first actually 14 nm fanless mobile PC a reference device uh, device so this is a two in one form factor it sports a 12 and a half inch screen and it's only 7.2 mm thick which is pretty impressive this is however with the keyboard removed just to reiterate and it's actually based on Intel's new core M processor so the whole idea by the way with core M is it's supposedly anyway going to be fanless it's going to be quite fast and it's going to be fanless so in other words you don't have to a have the extra weight in the cooling of the additional fan plus not only is it going to run quite cool but because you don't have the extra fan it's going to take less power and so on and so forth 
Anyway, that's just about it. So if you're interested or considering buying a CPU, this is a pretty good time. Obviously, it's not available quite yet, but is going to be available most likely, assuming things continue on schedule. It should be available at some point within June. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care and bye for now.